bless you, people of God. God bless you and good morning. Once again, welcome to our blessed program, Good Morning Jesus. Hallelujah. Shall we have a word of prayers? Our God and our Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for helping us thus far. Thank you for the people that are under my voice this morning. I pray even as you are listening this morning, may the peace of the Lord be with you, be with your household, in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, people of God. This morning, by the special grace of God, we want to look at a very important topic that says, He will fight for you. Hallelujah. The Lord will fight for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Quickly, let us open our Bible to the book of Second uh, Chronicles, Second Chronicles chapter 20, and I will take the reading from verse 1. Second Chronicles chapter 20, and I will start the reading from verse 1. Amen. And uh, the Bible says, It came to pass after this also, that the children of Moab and the children of Ammon and with them, other beside the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Did you hear that? The children of Ammon, the children of Ammonite, they came against Jehoshaphat to battle. And so this morning, the topic of the short message is he will fight for you who hallelujah can you say it to yourself the lord will fight for me the lord will fight the battle of your life for you in the mighty name of our lord jesus christ amen, amen. people of god the bible told us that the enemy came against Jehoshaphat. And then what did Jehoshaphat did? Let us continue with our reading. Amen. Uh, verse 2 says, And then there came some that told Jehoshaphat, saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond sea of the side Syria. And behold, they be in Azazontama, which is Engedi. And Jehoshaphat feared and said himself, to seek the Lord and proclaim a fast throughout all Judea. Did you hear that? Jehoshaphat did not take a wisdom of his own. But what did Jehoshaphat do? Jehoshaphat seek the face of the Lord. And he proclaimed a fast. Praise the name of the Lord. And so, brethren, I am encouraging you this morning. That whatever that you might be going through. There is only thing that you can do. Seek the face of the Lord. Seek the face of the Lord and declare a fasting and declare a prayer program and i tell you that battle shall be a thing of the past in the mighty name of jesus christ also i'm continuing with that bible passing verse 5 4 say and judah gathered themselves together to ask help of the law even out of all the cities of judah they came to seek the law Ah, the people, they did what? They gathered themselves together and they asked of help from God. And so the Lord is asking me to tell you this morning, go, you and your family, gather them together. Seek the face of the Lord. Seek the face of the Lord. Ask for the help from the Lord. He is the only helper and he's going to help you. He's going to help me this morning in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Verse 5 says, And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the heart of the Lord before the new court and said, O Lord God of our Father, are thou not God in heaven and ruleth not over all the kingdom of the heaven and in the and is there not power and mind so that none is able to withstand it? If you continue, please at your own time, I want you to take your time to read this book of uh, this book of Second Chronicle because there is a lot the Lord has in stock for you, even in Bible this Bible passage. If you continue to read this Bible passage, eventually what happened? God fight the battle for them. The Lord told them, "This battle is not yours. The battle is not yours. Just what you supposed to do. Just begin to praise me. Just begin to appreciate me. Acknowledge God when you praise them." The Lord, the Lord will fight your battle for you. When you live a life of holiness, the Lord will fight your battle for you. When you do that which the Lord has committed it to you to do, the Lord will fight your battle for you. People of God, by the time you go, continue to read this, let, 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 let us read verse 7. He said, Ah, not thou our God who did drive out the inhabitants of this land before thy people Israel and gave it to the seed of Abraham thy friend. He was he kept on remembering God what the Lord has done in the past. He kept on telling God what the Lord has done. And in doing this, God began to do great and wonderful things, even in their in their life. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And uh, let me quickly read verse 16. The verse 16 said that. 
tomorrow go ye down against them that is now god commanding commanding uh telling uh jehoshaphat what he's going to do he said go down ye down against them behold they come up by the cliff of this and ye shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jezreel. And uh, verse 25 says, And when Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil of them, they found among them in abundance both riches with dance, uh, with, with dead bodies and precious jewels, and they stripped off of themselves. And that is that they were able to conquer them. God has given his enemy. And what did God do? God began to make the enemy to begin to fight against themselves hallelujah hallelujah the lord is asking me to tell you this morning that in all those challenges that you are facing through just do the will of god you are going to see your enemies fighting against themselves and that shall be your portion this morning in the mighty name of jesus quickly shall we let us lastly let us read the book of exodus chapter 14 exodus chapter 14 and we're going to read verse 14 exodus 14 14 what does he say he said the lord shall fight for you and you will hold your peace can i hear you say amen to that the lord will fight your battle for you and you shall surely hold your peace in the name of jesus the battle is a lot, brethren. The battle is a lot. Leave the battle for him. Let him fight the battle of your life for you. Once you leave him to fight this battle, you will see things, you know, falling into his place, even in your life. And all shall be well with you. In the name of the Father, Amen. in the name of the Son, Amen. and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Father, we just want to say thank you for your word this morning. We bless you. We pray to you over God. Every battle, every challenge of life. Fight it for every of my listeners this morning and give them peace in jesus name amen. amen god bless you i love you with the love of god all is well with you uh the peace of the lord be with you and the glory of the lord begin to radiate upon your life until i see you again same channel uh on a good morning jesus we love you please don't forget to help us to share even what you have received this morning and uh, don't forget also we want you to subscribe to our youtube channel uh once you subscribe please don't forget to push that notification button so that as soon as we upload you'll be one of the first people that is going to be uh, to go to, to receive those videos and all is well with you we love you with the love of god and god bless you shalom for now bye bye god bless you